Hey everybody, it is Shiny Unicorn and Arr. and we are at a very special theme night. It hot is wife. Hot Wife and Cuckold Night. I have wanted to go to this night again ever since the first video I did, which by the way, still gets some of the most hits on my entire channel. Uh, so I am here again, Hot Wife Night, Wednesday night. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit rainy today. We're not expecting a huge turnout, but we are really, I'm enthusiastic. I wanna see what goes down. I wanna meet and chat with people who show up. What are your uh, non-expected goals? <laughs> my non-expected goals, this might be my last trip here in a while. So, yeah. uh, you know, I just, uh, I wanna have a good time. So Amelia's coming too. And even if there's no dick and even if there's no pool, we have snacks in a fucking Uno deck and, and, and the rest is just, we're gonna be okay, you know? We'll so yeah, come with us. We're gonna make the most of a girls night. No matter what happens, I wanna see the hot wife and cuckold theme event and see if I can help make some matches. Let's All go right, do let's it. Go to it. Bye. All right. Hey, everybody. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. It is fucking late for us. <laughs> right? <laughs> It is. I ended up yeah. having to get McDonald's delivery here after 2 a.m. because these we were so hungry and they weren't done fucking. <laughs> we were still busy, right? So we have a lot to say. There's gonna have to be a whole story time. <laughs> it was Hot Wife Night. It was a bit of a low turnout in the crowd, but we made up for it, did oh, we not? Totally we made our did. own special night. We, we did. We killed it. We did. We ended up with four men and us three ladies, and maybe one other who didn't quite participate. And we basically made it like a summer camp for swingers and like we hung out and we went to the event and then we basically went up to the red room and you know, I called it the circle jerk of intimacy again, who wants to join and we went around and asked questions and we also played spin the bottle. And because we had played uh, the truth or you know, the question game earlier in the night, she had mentioned some things she wanted to do, Miss Amelia, so did Miss R. And what happened? It, it happened. They all happened. I mentioned, can I say? Yes. I mentioned face sitting and I mentioned pegging a man. And I did both tonight. Yeah. And it was like a dream come true. She was so happy. Uh, a man came up to her from overhearing her say she was looking for this. And it kind of shows that what you put out into the universe, you need to say it. You need to know what you're looking for for it to find you back. Say it, say it, say it, say it out loud. And seek it, right? It's not that far away. And you needed a big bang. This is your last big night at Oasis for a while. And you yep. had multiple spit roasts. Oh, yeah. You had, and we went for oh. round two afterwards. Like it was, uh, yeah, spit roasting. They changed, they changed uh, positions. I had several yeah. people at the same, you know, one after the other. <laughs> And then, yeah. as I said, we went for round two a little bit later on. That was pretty fun. It was a really fun night, and I did meet two viewers, and they ended up being two people of the participants. So, goes to show, if you watch my content and make a point of saying something, Never and knows. you're a nice person, maybe you're included, right? Maybe, maybe you so, get to fuck our friends. Uh, right? And so, it was kind of cool. We, we did meet this lovely gentleman in the locker room who was, like, so excited to meet me. And he asked to give me a hug and everything. Fucking two hours later, he's fucking R. I'm like, yeah, no, it's a great channel to subscribe to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? So we have more to say. Is there any high level of the night that you wanted to share? Um, it's always a social night with you lovely ladies. I love you yeah. guys. And uh, it was a lot of fun. My dark fantasy came true. Right? That's right. Oh, you and that, for that, you have to listen to the podcast to find yeah. out what that was. We just check released out the podcast. It. Yeah. And uh, no, I made a, a lot of mess tonight. And it was one after the other. After like the squirting. Other, after yeah. the other, All over after the, the place. Other, after All the other. over the club. It just didn't stop. I had to tap out for a change. It's true, and I also ran into a very special couple that I'll be talking about lots more in the few in the weeks ahead. It's a couple that I had my very first threesome with. They were here tonight, so you guys got to meet them. They're lovely people. Yeah, I'm lovely. not going to give their names out on here, but I'll be seeing them again soon, and I hope to suck that D again soon. I got permission tonight to take my turn on it again. Uh, so it was fantastic, and you know what? It wasn't a great turnout in terms of numbers, but we had a fantastic time tonight. Yes. And, uh, yeah, what a way to, to send off the ladies, so... Yeah, we can't show you the dirty burgers because we ate them upstairs while our friends were getting fucked. That's how, you, that's how it goes sometimes. All right. I'm not going to say who. Yeah. Well, she she was fucking a man. And it was hot. That's hot. More on that later. All right, more details for our time coming. Bye. If you haven't been listening to my Sex and Swinging with Trani Unicorn podcast, I guarantee you are missing out. Not only am I completely uncensored on a podcast, meaning I can say all the terrible words I can't say on YouTube or anywhere else, but I can also go in depth on a lot of topics regarding sex and swinging and sex clubs that I just can't cover in depth on YouTube. I hope you find me. I'm on Apple Music, Spotify, and everywhere else you get your podcasts.